For Neva Numerique, the main learnings of this extension of the Erudite project have been very much a continuation of what we were learning in the first phase, but of course with the added element of what the learnings have been through the COVID-19 crisis. What we had learned in the first phase was that it's so vitally important to get the stakeholders involved in the design of the services that they need. And this was even more the case when we really understood, when we did the first part of analysis of what COVID-19 had impacted on. For example, it had made, it was clear that it really was so much more important to ensure that in times of crisis that there are the digital services available for all stakeholders, for local government, for business, for citizens. And this can be education, health services, business support. And that this has to continue and when it does continue everybody benefits. So that is what we principally understood is that you know it's the work we were doing in the first phase has become even more important. For example, with us, when COVID started, so many of the local authorities really began to understand how important that our work really was, that they needed our organisation to help them and to create partnerships which could create the services which they needed in order to ensure that their citizens, businesses and public administration were able to continue and meet their needs. And what we've achieved, well, I think the main thing here is really to another step of involving some key stakeholders in this understanding and process. And I think particularly in our case, it's the even greater understanding of how the Soroy Plus process has a real potential to better design projects, to better evaluate projects, to better monitor projects, and to, of course, understand their global impacts, their social, economic and environmental return on investment. And in many ways, that has been the focus of what we've been doing since the start of the um, additional phase of the project last year. We've had ooh, four or five different workshops with regional stakeholders, particularly those involved in our Smart Territories project, where we've been really working with them to better understand how to take their stakeholders into account when designing projects, um, how to look at how to develop the, uh, or to research and develop the indicators and the values that they need to, to better understand the impact. And also with the regional government, they are very interested in seeing how that the methodology and the calculator can support the overall Smart Territories project and at a more local level within the Nievre, our um, county town, um, Nevers, we've been working with the urban area. We in particular have been looking at um, a, let's call it a green IT project, which is looking at the sort of reconditioning, the recycling of, um, what, of uh, old uh, um, electrical and um, computer equipment and actually looking at how you can not, only not develop but uh, find these indicators which do exist and actually convert this into a far better way of understanding the impact of a project. So that's been the focus, getting some of the decision makers but also the, the deliverers of um, services involved to better understand how to design them and actually work with them to better understand their impact so that you can create far better services which is the fundamental objective of uh, Interreg Europe is to use this to improve the policy instruments, which means, of course, to design better projects, to change the, the governance of policy instruments and to improve them in themselves. So we'd, that's really so much of what we've been trying to do um, in the Nièvre and in Burgundy over this year of the project. And we're still doing that now. I mean, look, officially, now we're in the administrative phase. But really, it's, it's that, that whole year, it's been a whole year of activity and we're now at the point where we're working with our stakeholders to put together the long-term projects, get the, fun get the funding and really take advantage of this additional year. And I think to, to give one example, there's um, a law in France which is um, obliging public bodies or certain public bodies to use 20% of reconditioned computer equipment. But actually the, the impact of that and, and the way you're labelled 
just really takes into account the fact that you're doing it is not actually really showing what the impact this this is actually achieving so we we've been working again looking at how you can develop or how, how you can research and identify existing indicators which could be used to help public authorities better understand the impact of this measure which really is becoming a part of the sort of battery of French um, public um, laws and guidelines to help public bodies and of course others ensure a more effective digital transformation but of course also the green transformation at the same time. So personal personal hmm. I think it was just re it was really an excellent opportunity it was almost like something it was like somebody giving us a, a present after two or three years and you know, after the end of the first phase like someone coming along and saying yeah no look look there's been this extraordinary event taking place with covid which has really impacted on the way that um, projects have uh, actually de delivered the, what what they're looking at is impacted the whole of the economy and society and particularly in our case looking at the area of co-designed digital services which meet citizens and other stakeholder needs it was fundamental everybody i think really realized the value and the way that these digital services which are designed for practical purposes can have such an impact on our lives particularly in a time of covid so that's the takeaway it gave us a phenomenal opportunity to really carry on and clarify and add value to our work and that was great okay thank you